Recording in progress. Hello. Hi, how's it going? I'm sleepy. Why are you sleepy? What did you do last night? OMG, I went to the Airs tour last night. How was it? It was very good. It went really smoothly. Like, thank God. Everything was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. What were your surprise songs? Um, we everyone thought we were gonna get long live because Gillette is like that stadium. She's that on closing night. Huh? She's gonna sing that on closing night. Yeah, but Long Live was written because of her performance at at the stadium I was at at Gillette. Mm -hmm. So we all thought it was gonna be like an ode to the stadium, but she did I think he knows on guitar and then she was gonna play on piano but then the piano was like broken so then she did red on guitar okay i was kind of like dang these aren't my favorite songs but it's okay you can't win <laughs> can't win them all yeah also hi people i'm kaylee hi megan <laughs> sorry to jump right into it like that we're retired fangirls we have a little podcast we record when we can we post when we can <laughs> There's it's time consuming, okay? <laughs> schedule, but <laughs> just come along with us. We used to have a collab YouTube channel here on this channel you're on right now. And it was a bunch of internet friends. Mm -hmm. And now we're all grown up. So welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's the origin story that we tell every time. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, I went to the Aeros tour last night. When are you going again? I'm going June 9th. So in like three weeks, I think. And Speak Now will be out by then. No. Oh, wait. June, I keep I getting it. on my birthday. Yes. June, July, whatever. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Same months. Yes. Oh, that's why, yeah. She only did Enchanted from Speak Now. That was like literally the only song. She came out in a, in a gown and then dipped. I, was like, I think that's the only one on the set list for Speak yeah. Now. Yeah. So I'm like, give me more of my new favorite, but it's okay. It's your favorite? Um, I think maybe Folklore is like top now, but like mm -hmm. growing up, yeah, Speak Now. Okay. What about you? Big Fearless Girl. <gasps> Fearless is so good though. Yes. Okay, my her. mom got me the CD from Target, which came with... um. The change music video you couldn't see it anywhere else but on the dvd um and i would watch it in the car just like on repeat change is such a good song mm -hmm. i really like for listening i mean everything is like good <laughs> mm -hmm. so i can't choose but yeah i have yeah i experienced that but it was good my outfit had like so many props so that was kind of annoying because i was like carrying a bunch of shit and I also ended up getting merch thank god but fun yeah there was no I wanted really wanted the hoodie mm -hmm. but it was sold out and the crew neck sold out so I ended up getting a freebie bridgers hoodie and just like a tailor shirt and I'm fine okay. with that I'm happy is the hoodie online I think everything's online okay I think maybe some colors aren't it's just not the same yeah right I don't know but I was like if I get it I get it if I don't I don't whatever should we address the elephant in the room Matthew Healy oh oh forgot what about is him. That? so what's the tea on him because I don't actually like I like the 1975 but I know he's like really problematic yeah he so I mean on the Taylor Swift front, a couple years ago, he said it would be emasculating to date Taylor Swift. Oh. But he's done worse things than that. Like, in one of his shows in the UK, he was, like, hailing Hitler. Okay. Um, and he, like, there's an ongoing bit with his band where he'll just start to say something and they'll play and cut him off. Yeah. because Wait, I saw that. Going to say something terrible. Um, and then in an interview, I don't know what exactly he said about ice spice but the, he said something demeaning about her and then he admitted to um liking watching not safe for work videos um of black women being brutalized he like said that or like how no, he said that out loud to an interviewer oh in an interview so there's like a yeah. video of him saying that 
I don't know if it's a video or if it's a quote, but he said it on the record. Because I'm like, I don't know. It's hard. Yeah. It's especially hard, like, how at fault is she? But, like, the people you keep say a lot about your values, I think. Yeah. Especially, like, with the recent stuff, too. I feel like he's just, Mm -hmm. it's like, it's not even a joke. He's also, like, not even hot enough. (laughs) Like, no one's hot enough to get away with that, obviously, but, like, he definitely isn't. Like, what's a, what is it about him? Or is it just a publicity stunt? (laughs) It's a bad publicity stunt if it is, because people are mad about it. I know. Mm -hmm. But I'm also kind of like, okay, like, Swifties are really mad about it, and it's like, we don't know anything about these people, She's like, how dare she like date this guy? And she's like, they're trying to cancel her or whatever. But I'm like, I don't know. It's just more like if you're going to make your public persona about activism, like she did with Miss Americana, then, you know, don't date over Jesus. No, literally. Like people are like, it only seems like she is like speaking out when it's like kind of relevant to her. Mm -hmm. Or I don't know. I don't know. I've always said I wouldn't be her friend in real life so yeah like we don't know these people not at all they could be terrible like absolutely terrible (laughs) I venture to say they probably are terrible (laughs) yeah I would not be surprised but I love your music (laughs) you make no skip albums like I'm gonna listen he looks like he's like having a good time when he's watching her though yeah he's watching Taylor Swift of course but you're gonna have like good really time. like in love it looks interesting i don't know y'all let us know what you think <laughs> let us know if you care <laughs> i honestly i don't care <laughs> i'm trying to figure out if i do or not i have no I think i do because me having this conversation right now i'm like oh he did that oh this is happening i think it'd be different if i was trying to if I was a fan of the 1975 but he has no impact on me I like the 1975 I like their music but I'm like not the biggest fan Mm -hmm. yeah oh Rick Riordan was at the concert last night I saw that I saw him post and I was like (laughs) they date for me (laughs) (laughs) did he have like just normal seats do you think I don't know I've also, apparently, Brad Pitt was there on Friday, too, so. Well, Brad Pitt would definitely be in the VIP tent. Oh, yeah. But Richard yeah. looked like he was in nosebleed seats. Richard! <laughs> he did! Wait, is his name Richard? I just realized that. Probably. His nickname is Rick. <laughs> I never think about full names. I'm actually going to now. Yes, That's Richard Viorden. Imagine if you went to the Eras tour and you looked to your right and it was just Rick and Becky Riordan. I swear to God, I've seen him before in Boston. Context for people, I live in Boston. I went to the Aeros Show last night, and Rick Riordan also lives in Boston, and he was there. Also, his full name is Richard Russell Riordan Jr. They said alliteration as well. He said RRR. R-R-R. Also, great movie. <laughs> he's literally <laughs> following me. He's from Texas, and mm-hmm. now he's here in Boston, so... What's up with that? That is a literally crazy cupcakes. I'm trying to look up the picture of his view at the air. Yeah, it looks like he was like kind of near the floor, like closer to the stage. But I'm also like half asleep. But yeah, he looks like he's like on the right or the left. Like, because I was right in the middle. But it looks like obstructed view. Like, this looks like the screen they put on the side. Oh, so you know what? So I was in the middle, and I could see her, like, directly in front of me. But behind me on the big screen was, like, that huge screen of her. So maybe he was, like, yeah, he was over there. Maybe. Um, Were you in the bowl? Is that, like, the... That's, yeah, not floors. Were you in the lower bowl? Were you in, like, a hundred section? I was in, um... 300 okay I was like middle it was a really good spot though 
Let me check. Let me double check. We're in the 200s for... The nosebleeds look insane. (laughs) I'm like, oh, that's so high up. Like, I can't imagine how cold they are up there. Well, that's why they say you get a nosebleed, because the altitude is so different, so your nose would bleed. Yeah. But But I was worried I was going to be really cold. Sorry, I'm, like, checking where I was sitting, because I don't remember. Was it cold? It was not. My what the weather of my day was perfect, but you didn't get the, rain the day yet. before it was a rain, like a s- storm. Crazy. But I did bring my cardigan just in case I got cold. So that was nice. But dang. Yeah. Bring a jacket just in case. Because that walk back is maybe long. not as much because it is getting into summer. True. Maybe by the time it's your your time. I think June in Detroit, I'll be Okay. Also, um, Ford Field isn't open. It's fully indoor. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Ours is like completely open. Mm-hmm. Oh, exciting. Have you been to that venue before? Ford Field? Yeah. Yeah, but not for concerts. We've gone to Lions games before. Yeah, I'd never been to Lions. Gillette for like anything. So I didn't like I no there. idea what to expect. Huh? Who plays there? The Patriots. Oh, they're in Boston? Yeah. They're just the New England Patriots, in my defense. There's not a city associated. Oh, with yeah. Them. Well, yeah. Valid. Yeah. It's really close to Rhode Island, so. Okay. Yeah. How far is it from Boston? It's only like a 40, 30, 40, 40 minute drive for me. Okay. Yeah. It's not far. It took me like an hour and a half, but like literally half of that was sitting in traffic on the way to the parking lot because people... So fun can't wait for that to be me because there's also construction on the main highway going downtown so it's gonna be awful it was like fine going there but once we got to the stadium like just having people go into different parking lots or the pedestrians crossing the street it takes it took us like 40 minutes we're being dropped off by my mommy so (laughs) she'll be able to just drop me wherever in the city of detroit and we can walk and it'll probably be faster than driving that'll be so yeah yeah you'll save so much time Mm-hmm. love that so, for you that'll be fun shout out jen thanks, thanks jen for driving me and gordy oh is it just you and gordy mm-hmm. oh that's so cute it's gonna be a reputation taylor and i'm debut taylor <gasps> i made him a bracelet that says drew but it's like an x instead <laughs> i love that where are you wearing cow cowgirl boots mm-hmm. and cowgirl hat i was like literally i was like if i didn't think of this costume i probably would have done a debut thing because so really at heart I'm a cowgirl like at heart literally literally so, yeah that was the Eras tour mm-hmm. what else has been going on in the fandom sphere lately fandom sphere I don't know I feel like it's kind of quiet right now like summer releases haven't come out did you see Guardians yes did we talk about that last week yes okay yeah we did I remember because I edited it but yeah I watched that that was good um Bridger I don't know if you watch Bridgerton but like that new season came out I feel like I've seen this all over my free page I feel like that's something you would watch I've seen the normal seasons but I just haven't been watching things right now I've been reading a lot more my sister had a whole like Bridgerton reading phase (laughs) <laughs> I probably won't read the books. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. But really, <laughs> I romance books just aren't my cup of tea. I'd rather read something else. Oh, but it's but it's like a period romance. I'll just watch it. Really? Yeah. It's For like, romance and things like that, mm, just not as it doesn't keep my attention as much when I read. That makes sense. What about like Pride and Prejudice though? Like shit like that. Um, I don't love. Jane Austen's like style of writing okay Mm -hmm. she is not my favorite I love the plots to those they're so fun I love their modern adaptations i.e. clueless but (laughs) yeah um, (laughs) yeah the actual writing is really hard for me to get through hmm interesting I don't think Mm -hmm. I've ever read, read a Jane Austen book before you should give her a go see if you like her I mean she's a classic for a reason obviously she's masterful it's just like feels a little more tedious for me I don't know we'll see 
-hmm. but yeah that's out I don't know what else is happening I'm also feel like I'm behind on things um I'm also yeah. like not reading anything when are we getting the Percy Jackson show 2020 something Richard not RN that's for sure I thought it was 2023 but no it's got to be like 2024 2025 well they're done filming they've yeah, been done all the post-production that's what takes forever but they've been done filming for like months maybe next year boo Let us I'm know. really thinking that it would come out because the new book comes out in September that the show would come out somewhere around there to keep the hype I wish it would It'd be like it been out if now. it came out like in the summer because it'd be like summer vibes. It's a summer camp story. Yeah, but the third one, when they get a third season and I'm trying to manifest that, it has to come out in the winter. I just, oh, for the fans, I just reread um, The Titan's Curse. Like <sighs> I love that book. Ago. Yeah, well, it was always, always my favorite. Me too. But I hadn't read it in so long and I just reread it and I was like, yeah. It's yeah. the first one where there are actual stakes. Yeah. That, that's always been my favorite one too. Mm -hmm. But also like, ugh, they're all good. I thought Blackjack was more important in that one than he was. Yeah. He showed up for like 30 seconds. <laughs> I need to reread them. I got an iPad. Did I tell you? iPad baby. I'm an iPad kid now, guys. So I can read things. Huge without buying multiple books but um. I have been um at the library a um, lot I just remembered that I can um get books for free so yeah that's a resource mm -hmm. I have a few like apps there's like like Libby or something like that okay Libby I think you can like get books from your library Hoopla that's another one it's like Hoopla. audio books I think okay do you do audiobooks? Not really. I do podcasts, but usually it's more like This American Life, New York Times, Serial, like more of the journalism ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm glad I got my, my iPad though, because I'm traveling to Michigan. Ooh, ooh. My work She's laptop. going to Michigan after I leave. Isn't that so rude? Yeah. The universe keeps not aligning our stars. It's conspiring but it's fine yeah I have a little mini family reunion next week so I'll be out and about but is there a lake? like are you going to a lake I think we are good it's Memorial Day weekend and you're in Michigan that's what you do yeah we're <laughs> like driving up somewhere you're going up north that's it up that's there it. she's up like north upper peninsula or whatever are you going all the way to you? Oh. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. In Michigan, it's just like, if you're going on vacation in the summer, you're just going up north. Like, even if it's not due north, even if it's not even north of where you are, if you're going to like a lake or like a cottage or like a different house than yours, you're going up north. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Yep. It might even just be a day trip. I don't know. Cause I'm working, but Ugh. can you work from the cottage? Yeah. So I'll see. I just don't want to like have to take meetings in the car and stuff. That's annoying. No, it's really annoying. But yeah, that's the adventure for next week. Um, oh, graduations, like a bunch of that. Like there were literally seven graduations the day of my Taylor concert. So that's why it was stressful. Oh my goodness. But everyone's graduating. Um, me Congrats and to all the grads out there. Sorry, what did you say? Congrats to all the grads. Congrats, grads. Proud of you. You did it. You have a degree now. You do. You're smart. Um, me and Nick are celebrating five years on Wednesday. Huge. Where are you going to dinner? Um, it's a surprise, but for me, I planned it. But we're just going to this like Mediterranean restaurant. I've never been. Supposedly nice. Good. Fine. Near his house. So I'll let y'all know. Near the hotel? No, his house. <laughs> oh, I was like, why are you getting a hotel? You both oh. live there. I would um, like could do a trip, but I'm just like we everything is like happening so fast. <laughs> when you're traveling up to Michigan, so there's like a lot yeah, going on. There's a lot. The Taylor concert that was like a stressful thing for several months. 
and now it's over so <laughs> yeah so now you can chill for a sec now I'm relaxed but yeah I had to buy like gifts for him and shit so that's been fun um I'm still watching Ted Lasso I'm still on that still cranking through still going um I watched this documentary on Netflix with my friend called Our Father have you heard of it mm-hmm. about the um the fertility in- doctor yeah insane that's it was crazy you watched it too yes okay i was gonna say i cannot believe that it's not more illegal than it is i i can't believe it's not technically well yeah that and also the fact that it's not even considered rape or like battery right and that they can still do it and he can still practice medicine crazy for context, our father is about a fertility 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 doctor who put his sperm into his women patients that were trying to conceive. So he has a bunch of children now, and it's 94 and counting. Those are just the people that have taken tests. So like the amount of effort he had to put into that. Like, literally girl. also like why do you want that many kids like well that was the whole question and then they like thought of um what is that culty thing that he's might have been a part of don't remember but they wanted to spread more of the white Aryan rape yeah. kind of yeah yeah so that's uncomfortable but yeah that's all i've watched recently <laughs> it's just you know uplifting yeah <laughs> well because my friend that was visiting he's seen a bunch of netflix documentaries he mm-hmm. told me about that one and i like i hate netflix documentaries i feel like they don't do a good job interesting okay have you seen I watch a lot of them yeah i watched the you know the Hotel Cecil, like, case? Yeah, I didn't like how they handled it. And then the I know. I hated that documentary. And it was so long. Yeah. I feel like I wasted so much time watching that. Yeah, I like... I liked how BuzzFeed Unsolved did it better. I love BuzzFeed Unsolved. <laughs> Are you watching their new series? No, is there anyone? Yeah, so not BuzzFeed. It's not on BuzzFeed at all. It's on their own channel, Watcher. Um, yeah. They released season one of what they're calling The Ghost Files. Um, BuzzFeed Unsolved Supernatural, but they make all the money. And then they just started releasing their new show they're calling Mystery Files, um, which I think they're going to switch off every week presenting a case. And then they have to guess whether it's solved or unsolved. And then if it's solved, they'll give us the conclusion. If it's unsolved, it's unsolved. That's fun. Mm-hmm. a little game is it still like ryan and mm-hmm. his name? It's ryan Jane. yeah i forgot their name but that's fun i like got a throwback i was looking through my old hard drive i realized i had met ned from not the try guys anymore but he was in the try guys i met him in harry potter world Whoa. like several years ago and i was like are you feeling conflicted because oh, he got okay. kids? It was with his wife too, but I don't, I don't say umbrella, honestly. But yeah, I met him, and then like months later, I realized I did after all that stuff. Did you know who it was, or did you just take a picture because people were taking pictures? No, I knew who he was because okay. I was like a big BuzzFeed fan. This was like back in like twenty set like high school like vintage. Okay, so this was like peak Try Guys. And I was like, oh my god, hi. Like, there was not a lot of people going up to him at all. Okay. Yes, I just read um, Hank Green has two novels out. Um, An Absolutely Remarkable Thing and A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor. And the first one is really interesting about, like, this girl could becomes internet famous and then, like, just the validation that comes with all of that. And it's also a little sci-fi-y. Um, oh, so it's so fiction? About that. What? It's fiction? Yes. Both mm-hmm. of our fiction. Yeah. They're about like the concept of the first one is these like statues all show up in 64 different cities on earth. And this one girl 
and her friend post a YouTube video about it and then they get famous and start like leading the charge on whatever's going on with them um and she's just like not equipped to handle that fame um and the second one is from different point of views I liked the concept I think it would be a better movie or a better like video than it was a novel I just don't love Hank Green's voice um especially in the second he wrote from like four or five different POVs but all of the POVs sounded exactly the same yeah so it's hard to remember who was talking um but like the plots were really good and I like where he was going with it I just think a different medium would serve it a little better the way that I've seen him write and create interesting did you see that John Green has cancer Hank has cancer oh it's Hank yeah Hank has cancer okay that's why I was thinking oh mm-hmm. he said it's like really treatable yeah it's like the most treatable one out of the lymphoma, lymphoma or something like that yeah. but wild um, yeah I just looked on God's internet and then Hank was like I have cancer and I was like this is not a funny joke to make I know it wasn't a joke but I hope he still like at least does a little bit of making content and stuff he's been making a lot of videos about chemo and like transmutable cancers recently and I was like well, go to bed you're about <laughs> to get some rest <laughs> literally um um did you see my TikTok of the come on throwback song? Do you guys remember in the peak Percy Jackson era when people were making music videos to Viria Art? And it would always be how far we've come, of course. But yeah. then there was another song that I like, it came out of my, it unlocked a memory in my mind called Come On. I don't remember that one. I remember how far we've come. What? Wow. It's um a Panic at the Disco and fun song. And it's not like on Spotify or like on an album. It's and just for the Percy Jackson. It existed and it was like an iconic Percy Jackson like song. And I found it on my piano chords and I like recorded it and put it on TikTok. And everyone's like, oh my God, I remember this song. And I was like, this is crazy. Everyone was like, I thought you were going to play um the Nico song. Which Do you not remember the these music videos? No. What's what? the Nico song? It's called like Soul de Tano or something like that. I remember this era, but the songs just aren't in my head. I'm sure you would know. I don't know. Nick, Nico D'Angelo fan. It was called... Yeah, Soul Gitano. It was like Nico's Lullaby. It was a fan song, like a song written by a fan. Oh, Nico's Lullaby is striking chords. Yeah. And then let's see if I can find this is the song I was talking about. Like all of these music videos, nothing left to say, rocks. <laughs> these were iconic. It was always come on. It was always this song. And then this is the other one yeah I like remember this era so vividly but like just the image yeah but I loved that song all the songs that were like associated with Percy Jackson just bangers well and now it's starting to adopt the great war and I would love to see more of that going on when I was reading um the titan's curse all I could think about was how in love Percy is with Annabeth but he like will not acknowledge it and I was literally kicking my feet and screaming sometimes I was like oh my god you love her so much I love them literally OTP till the day I die I don't care if they're not your OTP I am like I'm concerned for you like Like, who else would it be literally who's better than that better than Percy and Annabeth like literally let me know I I can't genuinely cannot think of one I'm not, not even like racking my brain, even in other fandoms. No, literally. Like, no one comes close. I, no one does it like them. Yeah, period. Maybe like Princess Mia and whoever the hell Chris Pine plays. 
okay but still they don't come close not even close not even like disney princess and prince club like they're not even no never be them no of, the little mermaid's coming out this week are you gonna go see it yeah i heard that there's a rap song in it oh because lin-manuel miranda is writing it and aquafina's in it and she's rapping <laughs> what world does alan Menken's like masterpiece need all of this shit they did it to um aladdin too yeah with fucking will smith as genie he kind of ate though low-key <laughs> <laughs> well and the one princess jasmine sings it just like didn't belong it didn't yeah but at least she sounded good aquafina girl what are you doing there i don't want to talk about also, it also why is scuttle under the water i don't know it doesn't make sense and they look so realistic too uh, the flounder i was pissed the crab he scares me the, i haven't seen the crab because i saw flounder and i was like i'm not looking at anything <laughs> else with this i'm terrified but yeah i'll watch it i'll see what i think I watch it totally re-watch that. i will watch it when it's on disney plus okay i'll mm-hmm. let you know how it goes then <laughs> did you see the mulan no that shit was ass I didn't watch it because I heard there were no songs. And what's there the point? No, they, there's no songs. It was like trying to be like, it was just like action basically. And it was bad. Like it was bad. I could not sit through it for 20 minutes. Oh my God. It's because they're not saying I'll make a man out of you. Literally. And it wasn't even like, I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but I'm probably right. It wasn't even like historically accurate or anything. It's just like fighting scenes and shit. So I don't, it like really was not an adaptation. It could have just been another movie. Who's asking for these? That's my main question. Also, yeah, literally like, why is there another Moana? Why are they doing a Moana? Moana came out like what? Like recently? I don't know. Like Like, what? (laughs) Moana came out. Oh, 2016. 2016 girl we don't need another one we don't need to see the rock more than we need to the rock yeah we're done stop making remakes start making um more high school musicals and well they have the high school musical the musical the series and it it bangs like i love the first season after no, that yeah. it's first, season, the first season so good it's awful i couldn't get through it what I couldn't get through like the latest season. I watched it because it was really easy to turn my brain off. But once Joshua Bassett and Olivia Rodrigo broke up in real life and their characters could no longer be together yeah. in the show, what was the point? No chemistry. The scene where they broke up in the second season made me like ball my little eyes out. Oh. <laughs> I mean, me and Michael were just broken up for the same yeah. reason. So it was tough. Yeah. Life imitates art so true <laughs> ricky and nini right here <laughs> where you at speaking of joshua bassett what's going on with him like girl you good i just saw a video of him where they were they screamed something and he went i was just gonna talk to you about jesus put that away i saw a video of him ripping his shirt off in concert and then galloping around shirtless <laughs> I I need to, like, well, there is no song that you have for you to be doing all this sad songs in a hotel room LA like, like are you good like I'm checking up on you Joshua you know, Sabrina Carpenter is slaying oh she's slaying slaying her. so hard and also Olivia Rodrigo teased her next album she teased it finally yeah well there's like a little I- tiny snippet cute I hope so- it's not called sweet unsure drop it drop it lady drop, drop it, it on now. just see we got six minutes on the clock 16 minutes 16 minutes. 16 16 i'm gonna lie in bed and do nothing for the rest of the day i'm flying back to new york city have fun thanks hopefully it's a safe flight i think it will be i'm not the weather's fine that though. flight like two hours three oh it's like an hour and a half really you think Michigan is so far? Well, because from Boston, it's like 
three hours. What? Yeah. Or maybe like two, two and a half. That's crazy. It's literally an hour up and down from New York. I guess you are like, because I'm like, (laughs) I'm, (laughs) you're coming from a different direction. I didn't think Boston was much further though. I guess I do be like out north east i can't can't it's just not yeah i mean you're not flying from new york so i guess it's different but yeah that's crazy yeah i'll let you know how my flight goes and see y'all next time maybe we'll have a guest maybe it'll be someone that you would recognize if you're a channel fan and if we don't then don't quote me on that don't hold it against us but thanks for tuning in everyone let us know if you want us to talk about anything specific, but yeah. in the meantime, we'll just chill. And if you're a Swifty who has gone or has been or will be going to the Eras Tour, have a great and safe time. Mm-hmm. Enjoy all of it. I hope you get a rain show. I heard they're magical. I personally would not like one, but I can't decide if I would, but it's not even an option in Detroit, so I'll be fine. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Okay. Bye. Bye.